Welcome to Excel Formula Efficiency Series number five. This is a series where we learn how to build fast calculating formulas for big spreadsheets. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Formula Efficiency Series. Hey, in this number five, we want to talk about a helper cell. Now, let's look at this formula. I'm going to click here and hit the F2 key. This is a huge array formula. Now, <clears throat> I want to look at this section right here. And by the way, if you want to see how to create this, I have links ab above when you download these workbooks, I always have notes and links that'll show you how to create this. But this formula extracts records based on two criteria from a database. Now, here's the situation. This section of the formula, if we could somehow cut this and just put it here in this cell, then Excel would just have to calculate it once. Notice there's how many? There's 19,000 rows. So this formula is looking through 19,000. Oh, and then there's 19,000 here, so like 40,000 cells, right? Well, the situation is we copied this formula over here and then down. That means it's going through 40,000, just for that section of the formula, it's going through 40,000 cells for each one of these cells. So however many cells times 40,000. Well, if we could scoop this out, this whole section here, cut it, put it in this cell, and then have this formula refer to it there, it would cut out that many extra calculations. Now here's the criteria. Three, three situations must be true for you to cut part of a formula and put it into a helper cell. All the cell references are absolute, which they are all here. Uh, the function is going to deliver a single value, not an array of values. And you're actually going to copy this formula a lot of places, which we are. So all three things are true. Notice the rest. This uh, is partially relative, so we need it in the formula. And the rest of this is all array. It's delivering an array of values. So watch this. I'm going to control X. And then I'm going to type J13, or dollar sign J dollar sign 13, because that's where we're going to put it right there. And then I'm going to control shift enter. For the time being, it doesn't work because it's <laughs> got a zero there. I'm going to type equals control V. And then this actually counts the number of records to extract given these two criteria. Now I can copy this over and then copy it down and over much faster. So when you can use a helper cell, uh, so we have the 40,000 cells here, but uh, how many is that? This is equals equals count, uh, and I'm going to highlight this whole range here, including all the formulas, and then shift enter, 108, 108 and then we had 40,000. So equals this times this. So 4 million, uh, we avoid having the formula look through 4 million cells, and instead it's only looking through uh, the approximately 40,000. And that really is one excellent lesson in large spreadsheets. Cut out all the repetition if you can put it into a helper cell like this and, uh, and only have the formulas evaluate 40,000 instead of 4 million. Boom, that saves a lot of time. All right, we'll see you next trick.